Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to check out an upcoming uh, a pachinko roguelike, uh, because obviously uh, pachinko roguelikes are really cool. We've been playing Peglin, I mean they're nailed to our walls, you know, for the last three years, and there is a new one that a couple other content creators have been uh, checking out, like Alexa and stuff, uh, and it is Ballionaire. It's just a demo, I don't normally cover demos, this isn't sponsored or anything, it just, you know, obviously piqued my interest because we've played so much Peglin, uh, and uh, I love this intro. First of all, want to say uh, this intro is quite amazing. Uh, looks like we need to do some stretches here as well. Uh, but as a professional Peglin player who's been playing the game and making content on it for you know three years, I wanted to, to check this demo out and see uh, you know what what we thought of it, give our first impressions and stuff like that. You know, so we're gonna just jump right into it. <laughs> love the intro, love the music and stuff. Uh, so it looks like uh, there's a custom thing in the full game. A lab. I don't know what these things are here. Uh, but we're gonna do standard. Uh, okay, difficulty. Initiate. You must play on pyramid. Okay, so you have to beat initiate before we can go up to uh, ascendant, ballionaire, ballionaire plus. Uh, choose your starter pack below. Start with three removals, three rerolls. Gain two removals and one reroll after each tribute. Five drops per tribute. Tributes are 50% lower than normal. No tribulations. So we could either do a bounce house starter pack, learn how to keep your balls in play, include mushroom, jump rope, teleporter, tree, and boomerang. There's a chef starter pack, learn how to make meals and feed hungry mouths. Water park starter pack, but we'll just do the bounce house starter pack, I suppose, here. Um, we'll try this here. So what is this? What is this game? Hello, initiate. I am the seeker. As you stand before me, you are but a millionaire and possess and possesses only the dream of unimaginable wealth. Will the bounce of the ball favor your fortunes or will you end broken, cursed by chaos? We will soon see. Thus begins your attempt to ascend into the veiled order of the ballionaires. During your ascent, you will play tribute first to the keeper, then the adept, and finally the hierarch. Each of these elders will also present you with tribulations. Now brace yourself as fickle fate determines who you will face. Okay. Okay. The Keeper tributes one, two, three. The Adept. And then the High Arc. Okay. Welcome, Initiate. Your first Elder is the Keeper, who brings no effect. You must now earn 500 in five drops to satisfy Tribute 1. Welcome. The journey to becoming a Ballionaire is an arduous one, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Okay, each turn you drop a ball, then draft a trigger to add to the board. Press the drop button to drop the ball. You must earn enough money to satisfy each tribute before uh, you run out of drops. So it's almost like luck be a landlord in that you have to get a certain amount of money before the timer ends, you know? Um, tributes increase as the game goes on. You typically earn money when a ball bonks a trigger, but there are other ways to earn money. Okay, so what is this? Oh, okay, that meant click, okay. Oh, okay, so the portal... Okay, okay. Now you can choose which trigger you want to draft. Make sure to read their descriptions. Becoming a Ballionaire requires you to understand their synergies. If you don't like your choices, you can re-roll them. Be aware you have a limited a number of re-rolls available. Did you know you can also just skip the trigger draft if you don't want to use up space on your board? So it seems like in this time, instead of drafting relics and uh, balls, we're just straight up drafting what makes up the board, which is interesting here. Um, okay. Um, bonked once per drop, teleport to a random teleporter above this one. Uh, or bonked to destroy caterpillar. Turns into a butterfly if it can reach age five without being bonked. That is interesting. Let's just do some more teleporters here. Now you will place the trigger you choose onto the board. You can cancel this and return to the draft if you wish. Think carefully about where this trigger should go. Uh, we'll do right next. And the two portals, so it'll always go up there. And then we're gonna going to... So does it just always drop in the middle? Obviously we've earned way more than the 500 we need. Piggy bonk, bonked by the coin ball and it holds it. Passive, earn 800 for each coin held. Well, oh, maybe we do get orbs as well. I don't know, we're gonna put it right there. How do I, so does it just, I think it just always drops in the middle? Uh, 
Uh, placed, gain three charges, each drop, use one charge and spawn a fireball. No charges and it turns into smoke. So what if we put this here? Oh, that's cool. That's cool, so a way to start spawning more stuff. We'll get another pinball bumper. When placing an obstacle, it cannot be placed next to any other obstacles. Okay, we'll put it there, so try to bounce it more to the teleporters. Nice. Well done, Initiate. You earned a bunch of money. You must now earn 2,505 drops to satisfy Tribute 2. That was your last drop for the current Tribute. Now you'll gain more rerolls and removals. Now you'll draft a trigger as usual, then you'll draft something special, a boon. Um, cactus, bonked, consume this ball, passive if not bonked during the drop. Oh, so I can just put cactus right here. And it'll just keep earning us extra money probably. Um, boons don't go into the board, they just modify it, so they're just relics. Um, some boons may also give a one-time effect. Normally you can't reroll your boon choices, but maybe a boon exists that will let you break this rule. Immediately gain five removals. Once per drop, if a ball would exit the screen while carrying a carryable, teleport it back to the spawn point. Or the first time you earn in excess of the current tribute, gain rerolls equal to the number of remaining drops. I don't really like these. We'll take that. We'll take that. And drop. So we don't get any more fireballs. Nice. So it worked. We already have enough money. Uh, mushroom, earn 200 and bounce this ball upwards, but it's got a cooldown of five seconds. Or jump rope, bonked and earn 200 and bounce the ball upwards. We'll do that. We'll put it right there. Though I probably should have done that because now it's blocking there, but... Teleporter! And then once that smoke gets hit, it disappears. So this is interesting. This is a lot different than Peglin. I thought this was going to be a little bit similar. This is obviously, this is very unique. Um, ice cubes, place gain three charges. Each drop, use one charge, spawn a water ball. Okay, so it's kind of like the ice thing. Sure, we'll put it right there. And we've obviously earned plenty of money here. Bonked, ride the minecart. When this ball causes a holder deposit, cause an extra deposit. There's vehicles in my this game. <laughs> Uh, cave, bonked, earn 200, double this for each other cave consecutively bonked before this. So we're just going to put a bunch of caves over here, if I get more. Okay, okay. And, uh, campfire. Another campfire there. Oh, something hit the cactus. Something hit the cactus and got destroyed. Okay, so now we got tri tribute. So now we're on the next one. We have way more rerolls. Bonked, consume this ball. Passive, if not bonked, get 400. Yeah, we're just going to keep putting cactuses over here. When a ball is spawned during the drop, earn 800. Sure. So every time we spawn something with the campfire, with the water bottle or anything like that, we're getting extra money here. Why is Pachinko so satisfying? It, that's a very good question. They make for some of the best roguelikes too. Totally not biased. Um, bomb Goblin. Bonked, damage the Bomb Goblin. Defeated, detonate and spawn a random mix of four fireballs and rock balls. Yeah, so we can actually add enemies. That's interesting. So we've already done three damage to the Goblin. That's interesting. Nice, and every time we don't hit the cactus, we get so much money. Bonked from below, earn extra money per how long it ages. There's so many mechanics here. Bonked by a fireball, light the candle. When candle is lit, adjacent triggers. We'll start re-rolling here. We have so many re-rolls. Ice cubes. We want to spawn a bunch of stuff. Because every time we spawn stuff, we get extra money. That was the build, that I guess, here. What's up, favorite pecker? <laughs> Game looks pretty cool. Can't stay for stream. We'll catch the VOD when it comes out. Yeah, great to uh, to see you here. Honestly, I find this game kind of, and there's just too many mechanics for its own good. It definitely seems overwhelming at first. I think what a lot of games are really good at is holding back 
and introducing mechanics as unlocks and stuff, I can definitely see someone being overwhelmed by this game. Uh, bonked by Egg Ball, hold it up to 12 Egg Balls. When a full adjacents are triggered more, you know, re-roll, re-roll. Let's get a mushroom here. We'll just get a mushroom. Uh, okay, another cave. We're gonna try to get some caves next to each other. Or we've almost killed that guy. It almost reminds me of Peglin before it had separate characters doing separate builds, you know? Okay, so we earned a bunch. We, uh, we beat Tribute 3. I guess there's now Tribute 4 here still. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Um... So there's damage, chef stuff. Yeah, let's get another teleporter. All spawners invert the gravity of the balls they spawn. Okay, that's interesting. Though does that mean they go away at the top? Um, Reroll, reroll. There are so many different mechanics here. Um, okay, just normal bumper here. It is cool that we, we, we are on a board for a longer amount of time. Right, like in Peglin. Well, in Peglin, it's more like a deck builder. So we need to get 10,000 here. We're already at... Oh, okay, we might actually lose here. Wait a minute. We only have two more. We might actually lose. Mm. Ice cubes, there we go. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Once we got something based on our synergy, we got it. <laughs> we got it so much better. <laughs> yeah, and obviously this is just a demo, not even in early access, you know. Mm, Reroll. Teleporter! I love all these teleporters. Okay, we're almost, we've almost killed that thing. There we go. <laughs> so, but yeah, inverting them, they just fly out of the map. So, probably wasn't the best for what we did, but we did it. We, okay, it just keeps going. Now we have tribute five. This is way more tributes than I thought they were gonna be. Um, Okay, cactus, another cactus there. We're just hoping those never get hit. Once per drop, if a ball would exit the screen while carrying a carryable, teleport it back. Yeah, there are so many mechanics here. When a ball exits the top of the screen, spawn one fish ball for every carryable, but I don't have any carryables. I love all the teleporters bringing us back. No, you're not supposed to go to the cactuses. Okay, ice cubes here. See, now we can actually spawn them under the goblin. See, there we go. Now we're a gamer. Now we're a gamer. I mean, the art style is pretty fun. Each elder asks for three tributes. After the third tribute to one elder, another elder will come. Well, we're on like tribute five, are we not? Um, Reroll. If it's bonked, spawn water balls from the top of the screen. Gives the ball an item to carry. Sure. Oh, maybe I should have put that under the water ball. Stop hitting my cactuses! Um, give this ball a rainbow trail. Ooh. Yeah, we'll just keep, oh yeah, that goes at the top. There we go, that's cool. Ooh, ooh. Okay, there's some cool mechanics here. There are some cool mechanics here. <sighs> Reroll, cave. 
And I love having all the portals down here. Oh my gosh, so much money. So much money on this one. Because I guess it can carry multiple carryables? Or it has two at least. Oh, because it's just got a cooldown. Dude, it's still going! Okay, we've done Tribute 5. How many Tributes are there? Okay, Teleporter. If a ball riding a vehicle hits the edge of the screen, dismount the vehicle, bounce the ball away from the edge. Whenever a limited trigger consumes a charge, spawn a ghost ball. Sure. So we just need more limited stuff. There's nine tributes total. Mmm, I don't know why. Okay, I must have just misread. It's cool building up the board for sure. For sure. Um, that's the broom. Place, gain three charges. When you remove a trigger, use a charge, gain a fresh... Uh, ice cubes! And we're gonna use them to attack the goblin. We got a ghost. I don't know how we got a ghost. But that must have been... Oh, that was the one perk we got. It was like, if you uh, do a limited thing, you get a ghost or something. Okay. Cactus! We have our army of cactuses over there. <laughs> this is a pretty cool game. And obviously, we're just on the easiest difficulty that we have to beat. Uh, map. Carry the map. Chance. Te chance tests. Unbunking a secret automatically with a map. Yeah, like, there's so many. Earn a bunch of money for each food carried by this ball, then consume all food. So we'll put food honestly, like somewhere over here, in case someone's got a tomato. And deliver the tomato to the hungry mouth. But with all the crazy mechanics, it does kind of add to like a chaotic uh, uh, pachinko thing, you know? Bonked by an egg ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, Um Okay, here's more food. We'll get some food above the mouth. Since money doesn't carry over, you're just building to eventually beat the final one. Oh, we lost. Don't forget to check out your stats. I didn't even realize we were losing. Okay, so how is it different... Bounce house starter packs. That's just what starts with. Okay, let's do the chef starter pack. Learn how to make meals and feed hungry mouths. Okay. So now we're fighting same same keepers, I think, right? Okay, so tomato. We're going to earn money and carry the tomato. Earn money and carry the tomato. If carrying two different ingredients, consume them and spawn a meal... And then we have mouths down here. So, okay, okay, okay. So we didn't have two there. Why did it auto do that? I don't know. Um, that's not a food. So we want to try to just get a bunch of food here. I, uh, nah, maybe we don't do teleporters. I can go ahead and get a campfire, that because that's going to go away. Hey, we fed. So that's already enough. Um, Reroll. I'm really looking for food here. Hey, tomato. Nice. Just try to get as much food as we can. Food build. We start with a relic. Yeah, I don't know. Are these our relics? I, I wish I could mouse over these. If these are our relics here. Bread, yep. <laughs> Dude, look at this. We got so much food, actually. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. <sighs> okay. I'll take another campfire, whatever. Yeah, it's like, feels like the first time I drop down, I get it uh, for free. 
Or I get a free teleport back up. I'm looking for... Food! Tomato! Gain five removals. All spawners invert the gravity. When a ball exits the top of the screen, earn 200. Astronaut helmet. We'll take that. I don't know if it's going to happen right now, but... It's pretty cool. <gasps> Ooh! We already paid tribute with that. Bread. Look at this. Look at this. We're getting symmetry here. Okay. Okay. This is pretty cool. I could see there being so many different types of builds with this game. Um, we can also remove things. Bonk by a fireball. We'll put a cactus right there in the corner. Earn us some extra income. Nice. Cheese! Carry the cheese and earn 200. And it ages up. Like, I love how some of these age up. Because cheese ages like fine wine. Oh, okay. There's the meals that we created. Finally. Also, you tell me a mushroom ain't a food. Hmm. Um, I'm going to skip these. So this is a pizza. Place six charges. If it's bonked, you get a charge. Carry a slice. Earn 800. And if it has no charges, it's gone. It's pretty interesting here. Pretty interesting. Like a barricade for the cacti. I don't think I need to. I don't think it's that important. <laughs> Caterpillars can be cool. How you liking this game so far? It's really cool. I do. I do agree with some people that it's a little overwhelming with mechanics at first. Um, I could see that overwhelming some new players, but overall pretty cool. First time you earn an excess of the tribute, get a bunch of rerolls. Yeah, let's do that. So the more rerolls, the more food themed. Ooh. Uh, reroll. Oh, we'll get some ice cubes for now. And these are grilled cheese. That's cool. More pizza here. I could pinball bumper. I'm going to pinball bumper on the outside of the chef's pan. I was hoping to find more chef's pans, but... It's the Alice in Wonderland Mario mushroom. <laughs> Highly hallucinogenic. Well, you still eat those, so... Okay, another tomato. Okay. Got a lot of food. No one's getting fed, though. Oh! That was so much money. Reroll. Bread. Look at all the food that we have. We need more mouths. <laughs> we need more mouths. Okay, we beat that. I'll reroll. Reroll. Spawn one coin ball for each distinct carryable. Ah, just more cheese. Maybe I should have done that, though. Whenever balls spawn during the drop, earn 800. Balls that exit the board without bonking anything will respawn once. Because that these don't count as bonks. Right? Maybe they do. Um, Reroll. Reroll. Hmm. Okay, we'll just uh, skip. Hitting food is a bonk. Come on. No, you just got it. Okay, we got it. That's fine. Um, Reroll. Bread. Let's put bread at the top. <laughs> Come on, go. No, we just needed to go to the mouse. I need, I, I need to get some barricades to the... Yo! Tomato. Look at all these yummy ingredients. I know, I wish I could mouse over the starting relics. 
Or any of the relics. Reroll. Um, okay, let's jump rope. Yeah, jump rope to try to actually get them to maybe feed the mouths. Why is the bread high as fuck? <laughs> Everything here looks pretty high, honestly. Uh, Reroll. Okay, pinball bumper. Trying to pin things, bump things into the mouths. Whenever a ball is spawned, whenever a water ball is spawned, spawn an extra. After drop, spawn a smoke in a random empty spot. This will do whenever a ball is spawned, just earn some money. Hey, the bumper, f uh, I, well, it helped us get that. We still need more mouths or something. Actually, wait a minute. Let me just build teleporters directly over the mouths. Starting relic is if a ball is carrying something and it falls to the bottom, gets teleported back once. Hey, yeah, definitely wish we could see that. Rainbow's pretty cool. Guess we'll put it there. Probably should leave that first spot open. Art style reminds me of a kid staring at the back of a cereal box. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Schoolhouse Rock. Yeah. Okay, pinball bumper. Reroll. Place, gain 12 charges, bonked, use a charge, spawn an egg ball. Well, eggs are probably... What if I spawn that? I'll do it right over there. Because I want to leave the thing directly above it. Nice. Okay. So I need 62. Lake, storm, teleporter. Okay, so here's a teleporter. We're going to put a teleporter right there. When you remove a trigger, gain a draft of a different trigger. Five rerolls. Whenever you reroll all Ager triggers, we'll just get more rerolls. It would help the cheese, but. So if it lands in this teleporter, it's gonna land right over the mouth. Yes, and that bumper's helping get it into the mouth too here. Use the removes? What would I remove? I don't wanna remove anything. Uh, reroll. Reroll. Spawn one coin ball for each distinct carryable. I just don't want to do money. I just want to only do food. Um, using all my rerolls right now. Oh, hungry mouth. Yo, we got another hungry mouth. That's actually huge. Yes, it immediately paid off. Um, I'm going to pinball bumper. Yeah, right there. Because we can always remove things, right? We have the removes. I don't feel like we need to remove anything yet. The teleporting bread makes me think of uh, TF2. Okay, we'll uh, skip. This is our last one. We have to get it here. Yes! Barely made enough money for that. Cheese. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We had one extra. Okay. So now we got to get 150,000. Bread. Bread. More rerolls. Come on. Just gotta, we got we to gotta get some good feed-ins. Yes, dude, that teleporter is so good. Reroll, reroll. Tomato. Yes, dude. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay. 
Um, reroll, reroll. I'll get ice cubes just for now. Might as well. Might as well. I don't know. I don't know. Are we getting enough damage here? Or money? Cheese! That's how we do better. We just need cheese. I don't know. I think... I don't think it's, uh... It's actually... I'm a little bit scared here. No, it's it's going in the teleporter too fast. No! <laughs> okay. Here, well, let's try the other. Let's try the other. Okay, so we did the bounce house starter pack. We did the chef starter pack. There's only one more here. The water park starter pack. Learn about lake, dam, stormy weather, pal pale chalice, whale, boomerang, and receipt. So let's try this here. Let's try this. Okay, lake, when it bonked, it consumes the ball, spawns a water ball. Dam, if it is bonked by a water ball, it holds the ball. Dam may only hold as many balls as you have rerolls. Each drop spawn two water balls for each water ball held. Then clear held water balls. We also have stormy weather. If it bonked, it spawns water balls from the top of the screen. Um, if pale chalice is bonked by a water ball, it holds the ball. And passive adjacent triggers earn 0.1 more water ball held. And the whale, as the whale grows more full, it eventually ejects all held balls. When it does, it earns 800 for each ejected ball. Okay, the, some of these are very com complex. Okay, so it went in the dam. Oh, we probably should hold on to our rerolls with this. So we're just get a cactus over here. Lake, okay. Consume the ball, spawn a water ball. <laughs> this is a weird, this is weird. Okay, ice cubes, sure. Probably would have been better to put that right over the whale, I would assume. Um, yeah, so I probably don't want to re-roll anything. Because it, it's the whales, or no, what's, the dam's based on how many re-rolls we have. Okay, so we paid the money. Uh, okay, another cactus. Once per drop of a ball would exit the screen while carrying a carryable, teleport it back. It's like, I, why, I need to be able to mouse over what my relics do. That's my biggest piece of feedback right now. When a limited trigger consumes a charge, spawn a ghost ball, sure. Um, we're gonna skip. Yeah, cactus is kind of cool early on, at least. Um, bonked, earn 800. Let's put some anchors underneath the whale. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> mm. Okay, ice. Yeah, I refuse to uh, already, already, uh, I refuse to already have people uh, meta backseat gaming <laughs> in a demo. <laughs> I will not be listening. Okay, bumper. Right there. Um, okay. Got a lot of money. Cactus, the most OP thing in the game. More rerolls, so this can hold more. Can hold a lot. That dam can hold way more water now. Um, yeah, I'm just not gonna use my rerolls. I 
still don't even fully understand how all this water stuff works, but we're... It's seeming like it's doing decent here. Uh, nope, skip. Yeah, this damn thing's crazy! Uh, we'll do a bumper right there. Because the bumpers earn a lot of money. Okay, and that, that is the stormy weather thing happening. And does this just at permanently scale up? Um, mushroom, we'll go ahead and get a mushroom right there. Probably should have done it on the other side. <sighs> Adjacent triggers earn more per water ball held. So that is just permanent scaling, that's pretty cool. But, oh, but you can only do it on the cooldown. I see. I see. Okay, we paid that. Um, bonked, carry the map, chance. Tests when bonking a secret automatically succeeded while carrying a map. See, like, I don't even understand what that is. Skip. All spawners invert the gravity. Do we want that to happen? No, I'm just gonna gain five rerolls. I think we want everything flowing down directly here. I feel like that's gonna mess up our stuff. Uh, skip. Oh, literally nothing. Oh, okay, there we go. We got the whale. Which ended up being a decent bit. Um, we'll go ahead and get a jump rope. Over there, because we can, we can remove things if we need. Map requires stone coffers. Um, man, oh, let's do another anchor. Some anchors down here are pretty nice. Uh, skip. So this dam can hold 18. I don't know if we actually need it to hold 18. That was pretty pathetic. Though we already over it, so now we need 25k. Uh, I'm gonna earn 200 per second. If it's bonked, increase the earning rate by 200 per second for the rest of the drop. Okay, windmill is actually crazy. Wait, let me just put that right at the top. When you skip any trigger draft, holder triggers... Gain one deposit. Okay. Holder. Like that. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, another dam. Nice. Another dam's huge. During drop, gain 100 every second. If it's bonked, you get all the money. Um... I mean, sure. Because, like, we might- we have room for things, you know? Ooh, another whale! Not my cactuses. Okay, yeah, stone stuff secret. So if I skip... Yeah, these go up one, and these go up one. Dang, that's actually a pretty good combo we got. Okay, so now we gotta go 62k. Cactus! Whenever you skip any trigger draft, gain a reroll. Whenever you reroll, I'll, well, I'll just do whenever we skip. Okay. Skip. Oh yeah, dude, getting those skips, that's a good, uh, consistent money maker. Ooh, okay. Um, if you, if not bonked during the drop, grant an extra choice in the standard trigger draft. Sure, we'll put him over there. Ho oh, ho! The storm happened. Okay, we've made enough money for this one. Cactus! We might be able to win the game here this time. Damn! Let's go. Another damn. Crystal Baldi's nuts. Okay, so now we need the 150, which I think this is what we've never been able to do. Skip. When a ball is chopped, nope. When a trigger is placed with no adjacent triggers, double its base earnings. I guess we'll get uh, that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey! 
Hey, we're already at 27k. Uh, we'll skip. Because skipping gives us the counters on all those. Which is so good. That's so good. Okay, this build is actually pretty cool. Um, skip. <gasps> we might actually get to the second area for the first time. Anchor. Yeah, we'll get an anchor right here. I'm going to skip. Us skipping seems really important for the consistency of this build. Let's go! Yeah, stopwatch is pretty cool. It's earning us a decent bit of money there. You must now earn 300k. Why does I why do I feel like this just keeps going on? Whenever you reroll, multiply all earnings by one whenever an extra trigger draft is gained. Oh, okay. That's really good. Oh, this is eight. We have nine tributes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it now. Okay, can we get 300k? Damn! Okay. That one wasn't great. That's fine. Well! Okay, I don't know. I don't know. We need we need money making things. I'm kind of just picking things up. Okay, skip. Yeah, we just need to be skipping to earn all the money here. Cause this build is insane when we skip. Okay, uh, skip. We earn so much money when we skip. I think it's down to this. I actually think we might have just lost. No! <laughs> okay, okay. We'll do one more run. We'll do one more run. That was the best we had ever done. We'll do one more run here. We'll go back to the bounce house starter pack. We'll do one more run here. Okay. Okay. So we already have a tree. Wait, what is the tree? Okay, mushroom. It's just gonna bounce something upwards. Oh, if it's bonked from below. Oh, so I should have done mushroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we were trying to save our rerolls for the dams, but we probably went over kill on it. Cactus. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, if we're doing, yeah, let's get another tree. Maybe we have like a line of trees and then we just try to keep bouncing stuff directly up on them. Uh, bounce the ball slightly upwards. Oh, I can't do it up there. Huh? They can't be next to each other too much or something like that. Okay. Bonked earn 200 double for each other cave consecutively bonked. I'm gonna re-roll. Anchors are really cool. When a trigger is placed with no adjacent triggers, double its base earning, five re-rolls. Uh, let's get extra re-rolls based on the extra money we have. Yeah, that bounce isn't enough to get us anywhere here. Bonked, spawn one coin ball for each distinct carryable. During drop, oh, that's the stopwatch. Yeah, we'll put a stopwatch down there. In case we can hit it, get some money based on how long, 300. Uh, let's get another tree. So we got a line of trees here. It's your favorite food in the game, mine are bricks. Uh, I do not know. 5% um, chance to earn 1600 and discover the secret. Discovered, teleport stone coffer to a random open space and gain a treasure. Okay, let's do this. Let's put it at the top here. I want a chance to, we'll eventually get it. Pinball bumper. And it's like, you can't put them too close to each other. And I, I, I get why. Okay. 
jump rope. Whenever a ball's spawned, if a ball's riding a vehicle, if a ball would exit and has a carryable. Yeah, let's try if okay, maybe we try to get a vehicle build. We gotta find some vehicles. Mm. So a broom is a vehicle. Ride the broom, fly towards the screen. Well, that's fine, because it'll bounce back, remember, with the thing that we just got. So this actually is a perfect combo. If it hits that. Oh, we'll get another anchor. Hey, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool because of the combo that we have. Okay, another stone coffer here. I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to figure out these secret things. Minecart's also a vehicle. Ride the minecart when this ball causes a holder deposit. Extra deposit, that's interesting. We could do another teleporter here, makes sense. Actually put the teleporter right there. We want them to all be on the same level because if we put it higher, this may teleport somewhere we don't really want it. Teleporter! This game is really cool. I could I could see when this game officially comes out, you know, we check it out or something. Okay, 10K, another broom. Yeah, we love brooms. When you remove a trigger, gain a draft of a different trigger. All spawners invert gravity. Uh, when you remove a trigger, gain draft of a... I don't even... I still don't fully understand the terminology of everything yet, but we haven't even played the game for an hour yet, so... Pretty understandable. F. Uh, jump rope. It's like... Running out of places to put the jump rope. Oh! Oh, we bro. Okay, we actually opened it! Wait. Wasn't it supposed to give us, like, treasure or something? Bonks, carry the parachute while carrying the parachute of a ball. Nears the bottom of the board, deploy a parachute which reverses gravity. That's pretty cool. We got... Oh, okay. From the... Th Bonked water ball holds this. Nah. We'll skip. Gain a treasure draft. So those are just probably real high rarity ones then. And then it moves itself. Um. Oh, brick! It's Mario. If it hits, hit from below. Spawn a coin ball. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. Here, we'll do that. Though I don't know what spawning coin ball is gonna do for us here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if the brooms are working the way I want them to. Uh, bomb. Okay, let's get some bomb goblins here. What if I just put them at the top there? So I keep just hitting it multiple times there. And then eventually he's going to spawn a bunch of stuff. Yo! We're hitting him! We're hitting him! Dude! Some I don't know. This is pretty cool. This game is kind of cool. Okay. Got to get 25k. Wear the top hat. When this ball causes a coin ball to spawn, spawn another. I mean, it kind of goes with what we're going, but I'm going to re-roll. Okay, map! First time each ager is bonked, teleport the ball back to its spawn point. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, yeah, so it's just gonna... It's just gonna keep doing that and hitting the guy for us. A couple extra times. Yo, this is actually... This one's getting crazy. This build's kind of... Now, I don't know if we're earning any money, actually. We're just being really... We're doing a really weird build. Stone coffer. I don't know what this is doing for us here. But it's a really fun one. And then we killed the enemy. So all hell breaks loose. We opened up a lot of the chests. Bricks. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some more bricks going. So, okay, this is a treasure. Adjacent... Triggers earn more per age. Ooh. Well, adjacent. Shit. Okay, I guess we'll do that one. Bonked earn 800 and carry the wisening wand. And ager bonked gains more age. I don't even... Okay, I will skip this one. We got a lot of treasure there. 
We're trying to age up these, uh... <laughs> we just keep... Dude, all of that is, uh, is having us attack that guy so often. That's so interesting. This is a weird build. Like, cause I could see the full game or early access or whatever of this, um, having a lot of replayability. We have 19 rerolls. Earn 200 per second, increase the earning rate. Yeah, this is just, windmill's just insanely good. I think it just generates money for us in general. Maybe I should have had it where it hits, but I'm, I'm covering it also. But it's in the bottom right here. Oh my gosh. It sucks this triggered when we don't need the money, but... We opened up more treasure. In fact, it might actually make sense... For me to like be right here or something. I don't really know. I'm not a professional streamer. No, it doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't know. Maybe right there. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to be covering something up. Jump rope. Yeah, let's do it right there. Wising wand. Oh, we have all these treasures. I just don't know how effective they are, but. Oh, just yeah, I was like here. <laughs> <laughs> be, I feel like that'd be a little bit too distracting. That is pretty good, though. <laughs> okay, now we need 62k. Um, carry the wallet. First time you... Uh, I'll just have some ice cubes here. Remember, ball exits the top of the screen. Get money. If a ball would exit, carrying something, teleport it back, whatever. This is such a weird build. There we- oh dude, there we go, there we go! Dude, the constantly hitting the dude is, uh, is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, and we have the windmill in the bottom right just generating us money. 200 a second. As we're in- oh dude, stopwatch. It was at 21k. Oh, man. Sure. We're just gonna keep getting these treasures. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Just hitting him so often is amazing. Yeah, you can see the windmill just earning us 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. It just keeps going. And then we kill the guy again. We've already got the 62k. Okay, uh, pinball bumper here. We'll do it right there, protect the cactus. Jason triggers earn more per age. That's like, I don't even, <laughs> I can't really get anything near there. So I think we're gonna just cancel that. I don't know what all this treasure's doing for me here. So I'm curious if we're gonna be, I think we'll definitely be able to hit the 150K. I'm curious about if we're gonna be able to get the 300K this build though. I got another text message. Oh man, 5k on that stopwatch. Not that we need it. Speedrun community for this game is going to be absolutely wild if they make some sort of leaderboard. Yeah, it's, I, it's just a little bit harder sometimes to do speedruns with uh, roguelikes, but I do know there, you know, there are definite uh, communities out there doing it. Gold mine, earn 400 double and spawn one coin ball for each identical chain consecutively. I think I hit before this. So we'll get a gold mine like right here. I don't know. Wand. I don't even understand. Sure. I, I like, it's like, I, I, to a certain point, don't even know what I'm doing. There's so many mechanics going on. But in a weird way, it, it works because it is a pachinko roguelike where there's so much chaos and randomness to begin with anyways. 
And the fact that you actually are on the boards for a longer amount of time, like this is something you don't get from Peglin, right? You have the deck building aspect, but this is more board building, which is so interesting. Definitely a unique uh, concept in the genre. I love them all constantly getting the wands and... Man, yeah, we earned 342. I think we're gonna be able to. Let's get another stopwatch. Stopwatches seem to be really good for us here. Wand, sure. Wand, sure. Yeah, dude, we're earning so much money here. I like that the relics seem to actually matter a lot. Like with synergies and stuff. This is weird. It is a weird game. Absolutely. You're not wrong about that. <laughs> Absolutely not wrong. So now we need the 150k. I have a lot of rerolls here. Stopwatch. Stopwatches seem really, really good. So <sighs> when you skip any trigger draft holders, gain it. We don't have that. Rerolls and removals can be used interchangeably. When you skip any trigger draft, gain a reroll, whatever. None of those were gonna matter. I do think we want more relics. Maybe you unlock more if you beat stuff or... Obviously, this is literally just a demo that we are playing. Oh my gosh. Crab Champions next. Normally we do uh, Crab Champions on Wednesdays. <laughs> So we are, uh, we're gonna be doing on Wednesday this week. Ooh, rainbow. Rainbow's really good, it's a rare. I kinda have to put it here, but uh, I don't think we need any more eggs. We're not doing water things. Dude, we're, we're just murdering these hobgoblins, it's amazing. We're consistently getting the goblin every other turn now. Yeah, this is incredible. And we're earning so much money off of the trees because of them aging, and them aging more because of all of the other treasures we've gotten. Um, uh, we could parachute. Let me throw a parachute right there. And yeah, we're probably gonna get the 150k. Yep, uh, easily. So we're already clearing this. So I think we're gonna be able to do the 300k. I think we're gonna be able to. There's finally the rainbow we got. It was kind of disappointing after that, but that's fine. Teleporter. Man, I actually don't want another. Actually, wait, wait, I can remove. Let me go ahead and remove an anchor so I can then get a teleporter. I think that's more important. Oh, and return package, I could get it back here. Ooh, well, I'll put it right there, okay. I don't need another egg. Uh, but this is the last game for today's stream. We're doing uh, some shorter streams this week uh, since I am moving into my house later this week, or weekend, so. So last week of streams before I take like a week and a half break uh, and um, move into our house. Definitely think we're gonna be able to hit the 300k. Okay, gold mine. We'll get another gold mine right above it. I don't know. Because we've never even made it past in one area. Like, I really wanna see what happens when we do. Oh, dude, we got 10,000 from one of the stopwatches. The stopwatches are insane for this build. I like how you are able to see over here what what's kind of been going on oh my gosh dude so much money okay so now we need 300k um i think a parachute put a parachute right there agers age twice as fast absolutely we don't need the water ball stuff so those trees are gonna keep getting older and older He's got the broom. Oh, dude, so much. 
Come on, hit the, uh... Dude, this is insane. Okay, 77k just from the first one. Place gain through charges. When you remove a trigger, use a charge, gain a fresh draft of that trigger. It's like, I don't understand some of this stuff. Bomb Goblin. Yeah, we'll put another Bomb Goblin there. I don't know how often we're gonna actually hit that one. But whatever. Got the first Bomb Goblin. We're already at 150k. This was the, I'm glad we did one more run. This is wild. Uh, Rainbow, here, we're going to actually, I'll just put a rainbow right here, whatever. It's not perfect, but whatever. I don't wanna mess with this top part. This top part is working out very well for us, honestly. Already at 200k. We're already beat. We already beat it. Oh, dude, another stopwatch. Oh, stopwatches don't reset every roll. Like, this one's still at 12k. I just realized that. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that they don't reset. That is pretty cool. Uh, reroll. Broom! Could never have enough brooms. Actually, I probably should have put that broom somewhere else because now it's blocking the teleporter. We've already got 565k. Okay, so now we need 500k. I just did it, but I guess we gotta do it again. Ice ball right there. Any trigger in the bottom row scores at double. Yeah, let's do that. I could have done more of the aging, but... Oh my gosh, wait a minute. That doubles the... That's doubling the 200 we get a second from the windmill, which is... I mean, we're needing 500k, so it's actually not that much, but... If we get some stop watches there. Already have 118k. Um a little, actually I have nowhere to put that. When a treasure trigger is removed from the board, increase its earnings by a thousand. I don't know. Um, cause like it, 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 some of these mechanics are really hard to understand. I, I will agree with that. We'll get some more gold, whatever. That thing just disappeared. It didn't even fly back. We're almost to killing him. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Rainbow. Uh, I don't need the other egg, whatever. Okay, we, we lost that rainbow pretty early on. We're almost already at the 500k, though. Got another rainbow. Ooh, double those stopwatches. And we did it. We got the 500k. We got the 500k. Oh my gosh. And we're still going. Uh, another stopwatch. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and remove that so we can put a stopwatch down there. We're going to now remove cactus for a stopwatch. A lot of treasures here that we're skipping. Yeah, stopwatch is on the bottom, especially because everything's doubled on the bottom for us. Now, when we go to area two, right, I'm curious if... Um, I'm assuming the board resets. I don't know, though. 
there a way to see the stream schedule? Uh, I try to, uh, kind of post stuff like that, um, uh, in our secret chat on Discord. Otherwise, normally it's like Monday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, is kind of our normal. Um, but a lot of times we do extra streams. A lot of times it changes like this week, as an example, we're streaming Monday through Wednesday, and then maybe a small one on Friday cause of Brotato. Um, and, um, so it does kind of change a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, normally it's like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, but I've been doing a lot more than that. A lot of the times it's been like four or five days out of the week. Um, also we just hit a million. We hit a million. That watch over there is never going to hit, but when it does, the fact that they stay consistent is so good, you know? It almost got it. Okay, so we did it. Oh. Wait, so... Wait, we beat the game? Or is that because it was the easiest difficulty? No tribulations. Huh. So you can go... There's multiple different boards. Pyramid, danger wheel, fishing, pinball, slot machine. So I'm wondering if you don't go to multiple areas. I'm very interested. I'm very interested. But I guess that was a perfect opportunity, right? We beat Initiate uh, and stuff like that. So maybe it's just there's one map each time. Um, obviously, yeah, we did we did unlock multiple things and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we could definitely save that for, uh, you know, another episode or something. I don't normally like uh, playing, uh, you know, playing the crap out of demos and stuff like that. I like waiting until the full games or early access or whatever. Uh, and I think full version is going to be here soon because it already says we're on 0.94, right? So, uh, you know, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube and you want to see more Balionaire uh, videos, especially when the game officially comes out, out, definitely let me know. I could see this being a mini series or a full on series when it officially comes out. I just don't like burning myself out too much when games are just demos and stuff like that, but it looked so cool that I knew that we wanted to check it out, uh, you know, at least one time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified. Uh, you know, if more Balionaire videos come out, if there are some, they'll be on the screen. Otherwise, we got our Peglin videos we've done for like three years straight. Uh, otherwise, Otherwise, you know, if you're going to be grinding out some ba uh, Balionaire uh, on your own, then I wish you guys luck and I'll see you all next time.